Here he comes, the best in the world. And he's not here to make friends. He's here to make money. CM Punk made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. Never say never in WWE. And CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again. Here comes one dangerous man, Solo Sokoa. And his opponents, first representing the Bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. Nothing but grim determination on the face of Sokoa. Well, it doesn't take a psychic to know what he has in mind tonight. A man of mythical proportions, the dragon. And from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 200. 35 pounds. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat possesses an amazing mix of technical wrestling and high flying ability. One of the most gifted athletes our business has ever seen. More history will be made tonight with the appearance of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So many countless memorable moments in the career of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and we are in store for another one here tonight. to celebrate his royal majesty, King Harley Race. And from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 253 pounds, the King of Wrestling, Harley Race. Bow whether you like it or not, Harley Race is on a crusade to reconstruct WWE as he sees fit. Race displays incomprehensible brutality and will do anything to keep the crown. Classic rivalries with the likes of Hulk Hogan, Jerry Lawler, and many other legends. The message is simple. Kneel before King Race. Well, not everyone supports the King, and I applaud those who fight this corrupt monarchy. Well, Saxton, anyone who opposes the King has to contend with a vicious brawler who's also a superb technician.
Traditionally, things have to get to a pretty heated place for superstars to end up in a steel cage. The cage is designed to keep all interference and distraction out of the equation. In the steel cage, it's just you and your opponent. Nobody in, nobody out. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Four two being tested with every step. He's making Hayes climbing up the cage wall. Heading up and maybe heading out. Oh, God. Cole, what does it take for a superstar to succeed within the confines of a steel cage? He thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up instantly. He's not even close to being done yet. Sokoa's mistake. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. About to be the proverbial taking flight. Saw that one coming. And here's a cover. Shoulders up. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Placed in the corner. Corner. A couple big elbows to follow. Tough position to be caught in here. The textbook scoop slam. Whoa. Stiff headbutt. Continues. Got him up. And the cover for the win. Uh oh, winding up. There's a Samoan spike. Coverage. That's one for Sakura for There's the bell, and he survives this brutal cage match. Here is your winner. And beaten and scarred, but there is your winner. And that's about as conclusive a win as you can get in the cage. A truly unforgettable match. All four superstars should be proud of their efforts.